In marriage, we are often trying to remove splinters when we have a log in our own eye. Has the Lord ever reproved you, exposed you? There you were all upset about something in the life of the person you're married to. When all the while, you have a much bigger issue going on in your own life. And sometimes, the way you deal with it is far worse than whatever it is you're trying to deal with. I mean, just your manner, your spirit, your attitude, your words represent beams of sin while you're trying to remove a speck. Raising children often involves trying to remove splinters when you have a log in your own eye. Any parent who has ever said, though they probably know better, if you've been a believer for some time, you know better than to use these words. But here's what you really mean. Don't pay attention to what I do. Just listen to what I say. Is that not the epitome of trying to remove a splinter when you have a beam? How about our friendships? We can be so critical toward another person while completely ignoring our own sin. In fact, I wonder how often it has been true that you have seen something that may even be legitimately wrong in that other person's life, but you've sat around with your friends and you've gossiped about it and never gone to that person individually and never lovingly and humbly and gently tried to help them. You have not talked to them. You have talked about them. And I say to you that while you talk about that splinter, you've got a beam hanging out of your eye. 